So about a month ago or so, I messed around with ungoogled Chromium and then I switched to Brave. And everyone who's watched the channel for any amount of time will know that I've been on a browser journey of sorts over the last two or three years. I've been trying to find the best browser for me. And it has been a very difficult road. I've switched from Firefox to Cute Browser back to Firefox. I've switched to uh, Edge. I've switched to regular Chrome. I've switched to Chromium, Ungoogle Chromium, Brave. I'm sure there are other ones that I've tried. And there just doesn't seem to be a browser out there that is for me. It doesn't seem like there's one out there that is just perfect across the board. Now, I completely understand that my expectations are too high. Like, I'm expecting perfection, and expecting perfection is only going to lead to disappointment. That's the way it is with everything, because there's nothing that's perfect. So the conclusion that I've come to is that I'm just going to have to settle. And I thought over the last month that I've settled on Brave. And Brave is a good browser. Don't get me wrong. It is a much better browser than I originally thought it was. My first video on Brave pretty much called it meh. I'm pretty sure that's actually the title of the video. Brave Browser is meh. And some part of me still feels that way. And that part of me is the one that says that it's basically just Chrome with crypto nonsense tacked onto it. And I still, again, kind of feel that way. But since that original video, my opinion of Brave has moved a little bit more towards so what? Who cares that it's just a copy of Chrome but with cryptocurrency on it, you can turn the cryptocurrency off and you still have a good copy, an open source copy of Chromium. It's okay. And for the most part, my experience over the last month has been fairly good with Brave. And it's not any big thing that has caused me to look at my experience over the last month and see it with kind of a, a negative feeling, but it's more just an overall feeling of discontent. I don't really care for Brave all that much. It was a good experience, it's a good browser, but it makes me feel a little icky. And I think it has to do with the crypto nonsense. Now, I've turned the crypto stuff off. I left it on. Actually, you want to know what the funny thing is? I said at the beginning of the month that I've, it's been over a month. It's been a month, but this has actually gone on f at least now for two months. And I know that because I left the crypto nonsense on for a whole month plus some because I wanted to see how much I'd earn from the brave ads. I thought, well, you know, what? I'm going to use this. I want to just see what a month would give me. It turns out I earned like a dollar. Now, I wasn't expecting to earn a whole lot of money. I wasn't having that expectation. And actually, now that I think about it, a dollar actually seems like it's kind of <laughs> more than I really expected. But the point is, is that it, the level of investment they seem to have had in that cryptocurrency stuff doesn't seem to be worth that dollar that I earned, if that makes any sense at all. So I turned it off a couple weeks ago. And now I'm just basically using Brave like I would use Google Chrome. And there's nothing wrong with that. I don't know then why I use Brave, you know, because there's, if you're not going to mess around with the cryptocurrency stuff and you're not going to care that much about the privacy stuff, which I really don't, then what's the purpose of using Brave? It's not as, I mean, it is open source, but it's not as, it doesn't feel like the Brave guys care as much about the fact that it is open source as like something like Firefox, the people behind Firefox do. Maybe that's just a feeling. It could be incorrect, but it's just the way it kind of seems to me. They seem to be more invested in pushing forward their products than actually pushing forward the ideals of open source software. Not that Mozilla doesn't do the same thing often, but at least with Mozilla, they at least sometimes come across as open source advocates where it never feels that way with Brave. So here's the thing. This is what my Brave looks like. It looks like Google Chrome, and it's fine. And I have discovered some cool things in my couple months of using this. The, the whole tab groups thing that you see up here is awesome. It gets amazing. I don't know why I never knew that it existed before. Apparently, Firefox has this feature, too. If that's the case, I'm going to be very happy because, spoiler alert, I'm switching back to Firefox. But the, the we'll get to that in a minute. I think at the end of the day, what my biggest problem with Brave is, 
is twofold. One, as I said before, the developers behind it feel a little shady. I don't know about sh if shady is the right word. It more is like they are too invested in the cryptocurrency stuff to really see the fact that they're not creating a browser that has any unique features, if that makes sense. The other thing that has been bothering me is the lack of customization. Now, I know that customization for a lot of people is not a big deal. Like, they're perfectly fine using a browser that looks exactly like Google Chrome and has no ability to be customized outside of the thing. That's fine. But I miss user Chrome.css. I really do, and it's only available on Firefox. It's a thing that I messed around with and had a lot of fun customizing, and I miss it. I want it back. So that's the reason why I'm switching back to Firefox. Those two reasons. I don't care for the direction Brave is going. Like, it feels too invested in the cryptocurrency stuff, and that's not for me. Like, I know everyone... <laughs> I've had comments say, Matt, you should invest in cryptocurrency. 90% of those are spam, but the, the legit ones, I always respond, like, it's just not for me. I don't care that there are people getting becoming millionaires because of cryptocurrency. Good for those people. It's just not for me. It's not something that I really particularly care to worry about or get invested in. It's just not for me. So the fact that the brave guys are so invested in this and this is how they've chosen to make money, it feels like I'm participating in something that's just not for me, if that makes sense. Now that I've turned the cryptocurrency stuff off, off I kind of feel guilty because now I'm not supporting the brave guys the way I was before. And that feels a little icky too. I mean, it, it, I wish there was other ways to donate to them, I guess. I don't know. It's, it's, it's a weird and confusing feeling, th that whole situation. And that's kind of the way I feel whenever cryptocurrency is involved in anything. It just kind of makes me feel weird. I, I feel like a psychic, you know, where the ha has like a weird feeling going into a, a haunted house or something. I don't know. It, it's just one of, it's just a weird feeling every time something has to do with cryptocurrency. And that has been my experience the whole time I've used Brave is where I think it's a good browser. But this other extra stuff on top of it that is supposed to be an alternative way of monetizing the internet and the browser just feels not for me. Add on top of that that I miss user Chrome.css, and you get to, to the point where I'm switching back to Firefox. So that's the whole point of the video. I It feels like every about two months or so, I switch to do it to a different browser. And that's th that's true. Like, I know that I always get, I'm always getting these comments like, Matt, you switch stuff too often. You don't stick with anything. That's true. I do like change and I do like trying new things. And I think I've done a, a lot better job over the last four or five months of when I do switch to something, sticking with it for at least a couple months, because then I at least truly get the experience of using it. So I've done better at least in that, but I still switch to stuff all the time. That's not going to change. One of the things about being a Linux YouTuber is that you kind of have to have content. In order to have content, you kind of have to try out new things. And that entails switching stuff, switching distros, switching browsers, doing all this stuff. And a lot of the re reason why I don't seem to stick on stuff all that often is simply because I want to change things up in order to get some ideas for either new videos or whatever. So that's part of it. Also... I have a serious case of ADD, and I can't seem to stay focused on one thing. My ADD seems to be tended to, you know, focus towards constantly changing my computer setup, like, all the time. Like, I rice things all the time, and uh, that's just part of it. <laughs> you guys don't even know the rest. I could tell stories about... No, I won't get into it. <laughs> Those aren't the kind of stories that would make me look good. Anyway... <laughs> Anyways... I'm switching back to Firefox. I'm hoping that my experience with Firefox is better than it was the last time I used Firefox. I was still having quite a few problems with page rendering. I'm assuming that that problem hasn't gone away. But I'm hoping that I can at least overlook it. Because I'm at the point now where I've tried everything. Like, I've tried them all. There's no longer a browser out there that I haven't really just tried. Now, some of them I haven't spent a lot of time with, like Veeb and some of the other like very minimal browsers like I haven't spent a lot of time with surf because it's terrible and it was just not a good experience I spent like 
an hour with it and just said, oh, this is too slow. I'm not using it. So there are some browsers out there that are just kind of like that. But all the major ones, I've tried all of them. I have experience with all of them. And it's time now for me to find my home. And my home is where my home always should have been. Firefox. So that is it for this video. If you want to get in contact with me, you can do so in the comment section below. You can also follow me on Twitter at the LinuxCast. You can support me on Patreon at patreon.com slash LinuxCast. Before I go, I'd like to take a moment to thank my current patrons. Sid A, Devon, East Coast Web, Patrick L, Primus, Marcus, Meglin, Jack Snipe Tool, Steve A, Cyborg Linux, Garrick, Mitchell, Arc Center, Carbon Data, Jeremy, Sean, Odin, Martin, e, Merrick, Camp, Josh Lee, Daydog, Peter A, Crucible, and Dark Bandit 6. Thanks everybody for watching. I'll see you next time.